the Electron attack strategy. It rushed its way into the Clash of Clans meta in recent times and it is very effective using both the Battle Blimp but now the Stone Slammer as well. In today's video we are going to show you examples using the Stone Slammer and the Battle Blimp discussing the differences in why you might want to use one Siege Machine over the other and give you some tips and tricks in order to help you get the most value out of your Electron attack strategies. As you can see sometimes you can take out masses amounts of the base with purely your Siege Machine and Clan Castle troops. So without further Without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, getting into this first attack, we do have the Stone Slammer. Obviously the most recent Siege Machine that was added to the game, and we are going to be discussing the differences between it, the Stone Slammer and the Battle Blimp. So let's get into this first one. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for all of my Clash of Clans content, and be sure to hit the notification bell so that you get notified as soon as any of my videos go live. So first things first here, if you are bringing in the Stone Slammer or the Battle Blimp, you probably want to check for air traps first. So you want to bring a couple of loons in and sometimes that can be helped with pathing. So in this first one, the loons will actually take out the cannons here on either side, meaning that when the Stone Slammer takes out this Archer Tower, it's then going to move straight towards the Tesla. Otherwise, it would move to either side here to one of these cannons. That can be something that with the Stone Slammer can be your choice as to purely if you take the Stone Slammer or the Battle Blimp, the pathing of the defences. Now as you can see, right here, clear as day, two of the things we take out is the Multi Inferno and the Queen. Now in a lot of cases, that is actually what you will want to try and get. Primarily the Archer Queen, and if you can, a Multi Inferno. So let's say it wasn't as simple as you've seen in order to path the Stone Slammer onto that multi. You'd probably then be taking the Battle Blimp, but if you can take the Stone Slammer, it can actually get you that little bit extra value. It took out an Archer Tower before moving its way to the Multi Inferno and still took the Multi Inferno, still got to the area of the base we wanted to get it to before it then popped out of them troops. Now if we zoom out and quickly show you, before we bring the heroes in, just look at this base. I mean that is insane. Yes we've used a lot of spells, but we've only used the CC troops. This base is history. There's no way that this is defending. Now once you've used your attack strategy in terms of the Electron, obviously a lot of the time it is used as you see in here in order to set up the attack, create the funnel. However, if you don't need to worry about pathing, you can merge it in with your attack. We will show you that right at the end. But let's say for argument's sake that you do use it and in the initial stages as we did here. You probably then want to use the heroes just as a suicide method. So the king and queen kind of wipe out some of these buildings for the Lalo to then come in. Now again, looking at this, there's no air sweepers. So you could probably come from any direction, but honestly, it doesn't matter. There's that few defenses. We've got that many loons coming through the base. It doesn't matter where you come in from, you are going to clear this base because the Electron was so effective. Coming in from this side means that we can protect our heroes just to help with clean up a little bit. But again, this base is absolutely overkill. We've wiped it out so effectively with that Electron method because the value was there. And that's something that with this video, I hope you do pick out the amount of value you can get in select bases. Now, obviously this strategy only works when you have a siege machine. So that is Town Hall 10, 11, or 12. We will show you a couple of different examples, but again, we want to compare the difference between the Stone Slammer and the Battle Blimp. So moving down to base number 12, all of these attacks are by Toxic Rabbits. If you are interested in joining the Buy Forever family, be sure to check out my Discord 
all of the information you need is there. So again, we have the Stone Slammer and two clone spells for this attack. Now, initially we're going to show you the Stone Slammer. The next attack, we will move to the Battle Blimp. So again, it all depends on the pathing for the Stone Slammer versus the Battle Blimp. And when we see, again, if we pause here, whereabouts is the Queen? She's right in the center of the base, and we do have a multi-inferno here as well. However, one thing you have to pay attention, which I didn't mention in the first attack, is the sweepers. They can be a huge pain for your Battle Blimp or your Stone Slammer. You have to try and avoid it as best as possible. Sometimes you can go into it, but you don't really want to. You can try and avoid it as best as possible because when you clone as well, you do not want to miss the balloons or the E-Drag, whatever it is you're going for. In this one, the E-Drag wipes the Queen straight away, wipes out the CC straight away. Balloons actually get a nice split on either side, as you can see. And again, just from using the Heroes and the Clan Castle, we've actually taken out this entire left-hand side of the base. It's history. And the Sweeper that is remaining, we can purely Lalo around it. If we were to come in, let's say, from the bottom here, we would be coming into this Sweeper. So clearly, your Lalo has to start at the top of the base and again we've taken out 40% already before we even come in to the initial part of the attack with the troops itself. Yes, we don't have too many spells, but it all depends on the amount of value you want to get out initially. How many spells do you think you will need for the back end portion here? You could actually take another clone spell if you wanted, but then you've got to know that you've got very few spells for the back end. And on this attack, there was actually a few wizard towers that we'd have to get through, which can be deadly if you can't bring your loons in surgically around them. You you're just better off taking them extra spells for that as long as you can still get the value you need from that initial push which as you can see in this one we did very effectively again you do want to be careful of cleanup so we do have a lot of minions and the baby dragon here merging with the lava pups but again moving through it it gets very close on this one we have to say but what we're highlighting in the video is the stone slammer versus the battle blimp and when you would want to use the two of them again it just depends on how effective you can be we take out the base very effectively at the start here that the end almost doesn't matter Let's move on to the Battle Blimp attack so that you can see how the difference might be. Now, obviously, we kind of showed you it at the start of the video there when you very first tuned in. And if you do enjoy this one, be sure to leave a like. It really does help out the video a lot. So before we get into this one, let's show you then the Queen's in the middle of the base here. Now with any Electron attack, that's actually what you're going for. You want that Queen down, that's why the E-Drag is there. At Town Hall 10, you're cloning the loons, but you need to get this Queen. So we actually need to get relatively deep into the base. Let's have a look at it. The Town Hall is at the bottom, that's one thing we haven't mentioned. So the Battle Blimp can only be used from kind of any of these angles look. I mean, you can't basically choose which defense you wanted. If we wanted to get this multi-inferno, for example, we could then send the stone slammer this way in order to try and path to it, but it just gets very complex. What if there's some Teslas around there? It does get difficult. However, from the north of the base, if you need to get deeper into the base, that's where your battle blimp comes in. As long as the town hall allows you, the battle blimp can get very deep into the base, as you can see here. So a couple of loons come in first in order to test if there's any black air bombs. You do not want that battle blimp going down too easily. Look at how far it got into the base. If we had the stone slammer, we'd have came to here, and then it would have just been so unpredictable as to which way it might have gone and where you would have popped out. Whereas doing it the way we wanted, look at the queen here. She's right there. She's looking at that E-Drag, who then turns around here and will pop that queen any second. As soon as the E-Drag, there it goes. As soon as the E-Drag locks onto that queen, she is down. And again, we get a little bit fortunate in terms of this E-Drag, just about gets that chain off in order to take out that air defense at the bottom and just gets so much value. 
So the Electron, in terms of when you put the Crone spells in, I've done this myself, you guys seen it on stream. What you want to make sure is that you do not miss your Crone spells. It's very easy to do by looking at the troop itself and placing the troop, or the Crone, sorry, on top of the troop. That's not what you want to do. You want to place it just behind the troop if you actually if you really want to get to it you will see any air troops that come in there's a little shadow here so notice where the lava hound is notice this shadow that's actually where the lava hound is so if you wanted to clone this you'd put the clone on top of the shadow just getting into finer details but that is actually what you want to do with your clone spells but essentially hold back that little bit don't miss with the rage spell either make sure you get that right in that area because it can be raid over if you miss that now we have one more attack to show you after this one, I believe it is a stone slammer, but it's basically showing you how if you don't have to set up the pathing, you can merge it in. So in this one we took out this top area of the base, meaning that we could then lalo down this way as you can see. However, if we, let's for example, use a kill squad to take out this and we could bring the Lalo in, we might then bring the Slammer or the Blimp in to merge in with the Lalo at this point. I hope that makes sense. You'll see it in the next attack. But I hope this video has basically given you a little bit of insight in terms of don't just default to the battle blimp. Sometimes you can actually take out some defenses along the way to where you need to be if you have the stone slammer. Likewise, don't default to the stone slammer. If you need to get deeper into the base, the blimp can be a better option. Or maybe as you're merging into the lava loon, you actually want to get to that enemy queen very quickly. Uh, you would, oh, we've gone into preparation day. You will hopefully see that on the channel shortly, guys, but minor blip there. Let's move across and get back to that war. We have base number 22 in order to show you. Shout out to ask you something, by the way. Massive, massive respect to that clan and what they do. Be sure to check them out if you haven't already. Right, into the final attack. So, Kill Squad is coming in from the north here, and basically you will see how easy it is to merge the Stone Slammer and Battle Blimp in. Now, you can do this with any Lava Loon style attack, but you can do the Electron method alongside it as well. So the Sui Heroes works great from the north here, because as you can see, Queen is able to get this multi, also able to get in to give us access to the Wizard Tower there as well. So that's huge value in terms of just the heroes themselves. 20% of the base down, and she actually continues around the base here. I believe they get down towards this Archer Tower, if I remember correctly. Sends in a couple of loons, that's right. But the Queen does get there anyway, and basically the Stone Slammer has much easier pathing in order to get to that enemy queen. So here it comes, straight in towards the wizard tower. Queen's kind of thinking about going over there. You can see she's now drawn to it. There is the rage, ready for when the stone slammer pops. Waits until they take down the wizard tower, and out comes the loons and the clone spell. E-drag does its job, now comes the Lalo. So we've kind of merged it together, I hope you did get to see that, but you could also start the Lalo down here earlier and try and protect the E-Drag that was there. It, it all depends on how you want to do it, but again, when you would merge it in is if you don't need to rely necessarily on the pathing. But again, once we've taken out the outside defenses there, we could directly target the Wizard Tower, which meant the Slammer basically gave you the option of doing a bit of damage before you pop the balloons out. Whereas the Battle Blimp is more if you want to get there quick, if you have difficult pathing, if you need to get deeper into the base, that's when you would take the Battle Blimp. So, that is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Be sure to leave any other tips that you have down in the comments section. And if you haven't subscribed already, the button is right next to me. But that wraps it up for this one, guys. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, peace out.